Hi, this is a video presentation for our paper, A Permutation Representation of Covering Arrays, and this is joint work with my former student, Chase Jiang. And the goal here is to minimize the expected amount of time or the number of tests that we have to run to find or detect a fault that is present within a given system. So covering arrays are in this field called interaction testing, where we have a bunch of components in some system that we don't really know the properties of necessarily, and we want to detect or find faults in that system. So we have a bunch of components here, and these can be any components you like in the system. And we are going to build a bunch of tests. And the property of covering arrays is that at most a certain size that you specify, all of the interactions of these components at most that certain size are all covered. So the naive, naive representation of covering arrays when used in genetic algorithms is to use the entire array as the individual, and then you crossbreed the individuals that way. But that has more or less failed because the representation is so large. So what we want to do in this position paper is to put forth the idea that if we have a smaller representation, we can have a much more effective solution with genetic algorithms. So the representation here is a permutation of the tests. So instead of having the entire uh, test suite being the whole representation, we're only storing the permutation of the rows, the rows here being the tests. And the advantage here is that not only is this smaller, but the operator for crossbreeding individuals is, a, um, is very natural here because if you have two permutations, ordered crossover will allow you to do that. So the problem that we're trying to solve here is something called mean time to failure. There are other terms for this. So the, the mean time here is the average placement of interactions here. So if we put a lot of interactions at the beginning, then that will lower the average, the mean time to failure. And so this is the problem that we were able to solve and we were able to reduce the MTTF value of many covering arrays as a result.